Hey everyone, welcome back to the Box Mining Channel. I'm Nathan. I'm Jemmy. And today we're going to be talking about a project, it's called Phantom. So without further ado, let's get into it. With so many blockchain platforms claiming to be able to solve the crypto's dilemma of decentralization, security, and scalability, it can be unclear what is real and what's just, you know, clever ghost chain marketing hype. Despite their spooky name, one platform that's definitely not a ghost chain is none other than Phantom with a native coin, FTM. This project has seen parabolic growth over the past two months with hodlers seeing more than a thousand percent increase in the FTM coin price. So what is Phantom? What's different about this ecosystem compared to the hundreds of other altcoins in development right now? And will this price dominance continue into the future? In this video, we'll deep dive into the fundamentals of Phantom, the pros and cons of the platform, and we'll also explore Phantom's roadmap for the future. So, buckle your sheet belt. It's time to get spooky. So what is Phantom? Phantom is a directed acyclic graph or DAG based smart contract platform that uses a proprietary proof of stake mechanism called Lachesis to validate transactions. Yes, it's a lot, but stay with me here. It's designed to be extremely fast with exceptionally low fees, highly secure and infinitely scalable solving all three of crypto's elusive trilemma limitations. It does this through a type of proof of stake consensus algorithm, also known as, check this out, the asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance consensus or ABFT for short. We should just stick to ABFT because that was really hard to pronounce. <laughs> Blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum are synchronous. This means that transactions are written into blocks one at a time. While it is secure, this method suffers from noticeably slow confirmation times and transactions. With an asynchronous model like Lachesis, not all nodes have to agree or even process information at the same time. In fact, Phantom's Lachesis consensus is often called the gossip protocol because as long as consensus is reached with the majority of validators, the network can validate a transaction and move on. And in fact, all of this exists on Phantom's layer one, known as the Opera core layer. Anyone who's worked in hospitality will be familiar with the Opera name. It's the core software suite by Oracle that is used in hotels and restaurants. There's also a Phantom of the Opera joke in there somewhere, but I just can't find it. Layer two consists of smart contract programmability and Ethereum virtual machines, while layer three provides API integration for dApps and developers. Living on the Phantom ecosystem is the platform's native token, FTM. FTM is used to both secure and power the network through a robust staking mechanism. Transactions are validated by nodes or collections of people who stake or pledge their tokens. This staking happens non-custodially, meaning that you don't actually give your tokens away, you just pledge them in support of a validator node. Each validator node is then rewarded proportionally by the fees that are gathered from each transaction. FTM can also be used in on-chain voting governance. When crucial design code changes are proposed, FTM holders are invited to vote on whether the new code will be adopted. The weight of your vote depends on the amount of FTM you hold at the time. FTM can be held on exchanges like Binance, but to participate in staking, you'll have to transfer your tokens to the native F wallet on desktop or mobile. Phantom fun fact number one. Phantom's adoption seems to be rapidly accelerating. In January 2021, there was a little under 5,000 unique Phantom addresses. Fast forward to September 2021, and there are now over 600,000 unique wallet addresses of people holding Phantom. So, the pros and cons of Phantom. Advantage number one. 
high transaction speed. Phantom claims that the network will eventually be able to handle up to 300k transactions per second. Well, they aren't there yet, but they have managed 10,000 transactions per second on the testnet and over on the mainnet. It's taking away uncongested at around 20 transactions per second. They have managed to dial down transaction finality to around one second, making it one of the fastest confirmation layer platforms available. Advantage number two. For participating in node validation, FTM holders that stick their tokens can receive reward ranging from 4% to 26% APY. As an added bonus, FTM staking mechanism is non-custodian, meaning you don't have to hand over your tokens when sticking, they remain in your wallet the whole time. Advantage number three, reach that ecosystem. Phantom has a rich ecosystem with over 40 functional dApps and DeFi platforms. There are decentralized exchanges like Spooky Swipe and Spirit Swipe, DeFi applications like Curve, Tomb Finance, as well as Phantom's native finance application, Phantom Finance. Active development means that Phantom will continue to grow as more and more people use the network. So, advantage number four, number three. Number A lot three. of advantages, huh? So many advantages. An other advantage is that it's EVM compatible. Phantom's Opera network is fully compatible with EVM or Ethereum Virtual Machine, meaning that any dApps written in Solidity or Viper run seamlessly on Phantom. So the final advantage I could think of is that it supports NFTs. Well, love them or hate them. Million dollar JPEGs, otherwise known as non-fungible tokens or NFTs are here to stay, whether you like it or not. Phantom supports NFT minting and has a massive NFT marketplace with loads of community participation. Okay, so that's the advantages. Now move on to the fun part, the disadvantages. Mm. Oh, so, <laughs> disadvantage number one, convoluted transfer process. As FTM has limited wallet support, transferring any purchase tokens from centralized exchanges can be complex and potentially expensive. FTM can exist on the Ethereum network as an ERC20 token, but the transfer from FTM to ETH will cost like 30 FTM or 0.1% in bridging fees. Boo, bridging fees. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> This about nation of a team, diminishing staking rewards. By design, the staking rewards are programmed to diminish as small and more people join and actively stake the FTM to validation nodes. While this does help to slow the release of the remaining fixed supply, it does disincentive adoption, especially as the network grows. So moving on to the last disadvantage, restrictive validator node requirements. When Phantom first went live, validators required 3.175 million FTM to be an active node. Burn. That was a lot easier when FTM was worth around, you know, two cents. And setting up a node cost around 63k US dollars. Yeah. With FTM recently crossing $1.50 in September 2021, the price shoots up to $4.7 million. Phantom have recently reduced this requirement to 1 million FTM, but it still remains out of most of people's reach. Yeah, it's still pretty expensive. A million <laughs> I know, right? Lot. Fun fact number two. With over $1.4 billion total finally locked, Phantom is currently the fourth largest EVM network in the world, despite being ranked number 44 file market cap. On top of everything else we've covered, another thing which has driven solid interest into the project recently is the announcement of the Phantom Grants program. This is a $370 million program in USD to incentivize developers to build on Phantom. Developers will be able to apply for grants equivalent to the amount of TVL in their project up to 5 million FTM, a move that will definitely boost market cap and trading volume. While Phantom hasn't said much in the way of roadmap development, they have made it clear that they are focusing on reducing Lachesis transaction speed even further and building more cross-chain bridges to include other blockchains in the network. So that's it. 
Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Uh, me and Jemmy put some time into making this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave us a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And let us know what you think. Is there anything that you want us to cover? Is there anything that you're excited about? Please let us know. Uh, we're teaming up to do a bunch of content together because as you know, we're in the new dream team over here. So uh, yeah, I mean, just let us know what you think and we really want to interact more with you guys. So please let us know. All right, talk to you soon. Excuse me.